What is up, my fellow 3DS capture board owners? My name is Cam, also known as Wiltshire, and I have some exciting news to share with you guys. Okay, so the exciting news that I have to share with you guys for people that bought a capture board from 3dscapture.com is that the capture board now has the ability to capture your video and audio via the USB cable. Now, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I hated having my capture board and my headphone jack hooked up to my computer to record my video and audio. Now, previously, you had to have a male-to-male -male USB cable coming from your 3DS into a noise filter and then into the microphone jack on your PC to record your audio. I hated that setup. I thought it was sloppy and it was just a pain to deal with because there was cables everywhere. With this update, there will only be one single cable to do everything for you, which is very, very nice, and I love the fact that he has implemented USB audio capture. Now, you can find the experimental version of the 3DS capture module on the front page of the website. Now, it's in this bullet where it says, audio capture over USB is in development and it's currently experimental. You can find the software here, and if you click the word here, it is hyperlinked, therefore you will be redirected to a download link for the newest version or the experimental version of the 3DS capture module. And once you open up the 3DS capture module, the new test version, it'll ask you to flash a new version of firmware on your 3DS. Now make sure you do not nudge the USB cable or unplug it at this state or it will brick your 3DS capture board and you'll have a hunk of plastic that absolutely does nothing and you will have wasted your money on this capture board if you do that. So I'm just going to give you guys a slight demonstration of what the USB audio capture looks like and what the setup now looks like for your 3DS and I will be right back. Okay, so I've switched over to a view of my desktop and my webcam. I'll be using my desktop to show you guys the new revision of the software that is experimental and in currently in beta. I'll be using my webcam to show you guys what the 3DS capture card now looks like when it's connected to my computer. So I'm just going to switch over to a larger view of my webcam so you guys can get a better look at the capture card itself. So here's the capture card in the 3DS. As you can see, I only have the uh, USB micro cable connected to my 3DS, and it actually makes things a lot more comfortable when making um, Let's Plays and 3DS capture recordings and whatnot, or just gaming in general when you want to game on your computer monitors and you don't want to look at the smaller screen for the 3DS. It actually makes things a lot more comfortable. I can sit back and relax. I can also actually have headphones and listen to like the sounds now because the uh, audio is now going through the USB and I can have my headphones plugged into the headphone jack at the same time so I can listen to the sounds of the game, which is also handy to have. Without this revision of software, you normally had to take up the headphone jack, which means you couldn't listen to the audio of your 3DS unless you were projecting it through your computer via um, stereo mix if you have it. And it took up the USB or the, uh, the headphone port and the headphone port is not the greatest. Nintendo didn't do a very good job of grounding it. And uh, some interference comes through that if you don't have a noise filter. And sometimes the noise filter doesn't even get rid of all the interference either. So it's a, eh, it's, uh, it's a hit and miss with the, uh, the headphone jack and recording audio. Now you may also notice that I have a Circle Pad Pro modified to my modified 3DS with the capture, bo uh, capture board. Uh, normally the capture board wouldn't fit due to the extending backing that uh, comes with the... Uh, the capture board, I've taken that off because I had to uh, make the 3DS fit the uh, CirclePad Pro. And I'll be doing a how-to video on how to modify your CirclePad Pro to work with your modified 3DS. So if you guys want to click the annotation that's on the screen, you can go ahead and look at that video if you guys are interested. Uh, the annotation will not be here um, right off the bat. I will be making that video in the near future. So I uh, look forward to that. I will also be doing a few more update videos as well. So uh, let's go ahead and switch over to my desktop and I'll show you guys the new revision of the software. So once we are on my desktop here, there we go. I have two versions of the 3DS capture software as you can see on the right hand side. One is the normal version, uh, revision 2.19 I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that, I can't remember the version of software that I have on my computer. And on the right here beside it is the 3DS capture audio test 2. This is the experimental software that's currently in the beta phase and some bugs are being worked out, but it seems very stable and I haven't run into any bugs yet. So as soon as I open this, you should be able to hear the sounds of the 3DS. So there you go. You can now hear the sounds of the 3DS and I'm just going to move around so you guys can hear the, uh, the sounds playing differently. Uh, there you go. You heard the sound of Kingdom Hearts uh, 3D, Dream, Dream Distance Drop, uh, the melody that plays whenever you select something on the main menu. 
Now, there has been a change with uh, the interface on the 3DS capture module. As you notice on this window here, there is a new slider on the right hand side. That slider is for the game audio. Now, we can fine tune or fine adjust the 3DS audio if you wish to do so. Now, if I slide this all the way down, that turns the audio completely off. Now, if I slide it all the way up, there you go. You have 100% volume on the 3DS. Now, you can just, I don't know, maybe have it halfway or so, and you can fine tune the audio of your recordings if you wish to do so. So that is the new update for the 3DS Capture Board from 3DScapture.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys found these updates useful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more updates. I do believe there is a Mac version coming out for this 3DS Capture Card very soon. It's uh, currently being developed, but not by Loopy, so it'll take a while. It's currently in beta phase as well. It's called Dual Capture. I may do a video on that in the near future as well. But as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.